Hey my YouTube fam, this your girl Jamisa and we're back with a new hair review. This will be on Steely Hair and if you want to know how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. So inside of the box, um, they do give you a satin bag to keep your wig in. Of course you have your wig, extra elastic band, a headband and a satin wrap, wig caps, some lashes and your hair care instructions and return information. So I'm just tugging on the hair lightly um, just to see if there's any shedding and I really did not experience that much shedding but I really do like the curl pattern on this hair. It's very thick and full. The construction of the cap consists of four combs. You have three along the front of the cap and then one located at the back of the wig. You also have the attachments for your extra elastic band and then you also have adjustable straps um, just for the wig to fit your head a little bit better. Um, so as you can see I was using, um, I'll be using some even spray and some got to be free spray just to seal off the lace tint. That's like my favorite lace tint to use um, and I'm just trying the wig on to see just how it fits and how I want everything set. The sides you'll see in a second, they really do not fit my hairline like I would like it to, which is okay. So when it happens with frontals, um, I like to apply my wigs as if they were closure wigs. And so you'll see me applying my, just the front part of my wig. And I'll be using the Kiss uh, Lace Glue to install my wig. I actually did get most of the frontal laid down. It's just when they don't fit my hairline like I would like or I feel like if I have to pull down the frontal too much because um, I don't like having to pull down frontals too much over my forehead. I know my forehead kind of big but sometimes I like my forehead to be showing. <laughs> but um, yeah, sometimes if I feel like that then I'll just apply the wigs as closure wigs because like I said, the sides um, don't necessarily match how my um, hairline is so that's why I apply these types of wigs as closure wigs and I always do about two layers of the glue and then just dry it with the blow dryer and then we're ready to apply um, here I just forgot to um, make my little tabs I always try to make tabs because I feel like it's easier to install frontals so I'm just cutting slits in the, um, the lace just so I can install it better and I don't believe I had mentioned earlier um, the type of wig this was, so I do apologize. This wig that they did send me is the Curly Wave Short Bob Wig. This is in 180% density, and I do believe it is 14 inches, but of course, I'll leave everything in the description box below. Okay, now I'm just going back in with the lace glue and um, installing the side. Like I said, you'll see where I have to cut it, but um, I can't get the size all the way down just because of how the frontal is made. using my rat tail comb just to press the frontal into my skin and then I'll go um, which is completely optional I normally go back over it with some got to be free spray just for the extra hole but again you don't have to do that so I'll be using that and then just blow dry my hair
Now I'm just cutting off all of the excess lace and then I'll be using some alcohol just to wipe off any excess uh, hairspray or whatnot. just figuring out where I want my part and then I'll be spritzing my hair with some water and I do have a little bit of conditioner in it just so I can bring out the curls and keep the hair soft. button so you know when you go post a new video and I'll catch y'all later.